Now we are going to see the confirmatory test for basic radical using the salt lead nitrate. It is usually white crystalline in nature. Here the given basic radical is lead. Take the boiling tube. I am now going to prepare the original solution. So take a little amount of salt and dissolve the salt in distilled water. Pour a little amount of water into the boiling tube. The solution must be below the half of the boiling tube. Dissolve the salt completely in distilled water till the solution is homogeneous. Take the, take the test tube now. Here I am going to do two confirmatory tests. The original solution is divided into two test tubes equally but not more than half of the test tube. First test is the potassium iodide to a small amount of original solution that is I kept it in test tube. Potassium iodide solution is added drop by drop not more than the original solution. The low precipitate is formed. It is usually some more darker. The low precipitate is dark in color. This indicates the presence of lead. I kept it in test tube stand. Here is the second test tube for the confirmatory test for lead. To a small amount of original solution, potassium chromate is added. Potassium chromate itself is yellow liquid. When we add a little amount of potassium chromate into the original solution that we take an test tube, it becomes bright yellow in color. That is, this yellow color is little bit lighter than the first yellow precipitate. This two yellow precipitates indicate the presence of lead, so that the lead is confirmed. The first solution indicates that is the first yellow precipitate is darker than the second test tube. 